Hello everybody, my name is Hayden and today I'm going to be talking about info boxes and info windows and more specifically how to change your engine indications on the left hand side from an analog setup to a digital setup. I've had a few people ask me how to do that so I'm going to take this time to do it. First thing you need to do is move your mouse down to the area immediately around the info box. What you're going to do is hold the ALT key on your keyboard and left click once. You'll see the box turn uh, a different shade of gray or it'll go from transparent to gray. That means the box is open and available to be uh, adjusted. Once you have that open, you're going to right click in anywhere in that box. And then you're going to go to customize engine controls. It's going to bring up this box here. The, uh, you'll see there's three sections here. Uh, the middle section has the items that are in the window. So the first item will be the window itself. And the second item will be engine info. So let's go down to engine info first. Left click once on engine info. You're simply going to go over to the left side where it says layout. You're going to left click once. A drop down box will appear. You click it and select digital. Now look down at the bottom. You have digital controls which are much easier to read and much quicker to uh, determine the position of some of your engine settings. Uh, right below it is the font. I prefer small but I'm going to show you what a couple of them look like. This is a uh, fixed small. Kind of looks like a typewriter. Then you have uh, large and medium which I think are just way too big. But if you like it you can have it. So they're small. And then last there's the color. and. <laughs> There's uh, quite the eclectic collection of colors that you can choose. You can have lemon chiffon, aquamarine, burly wood. Uh, I go with linen, but you can pick whatever color you, you like. Uh, maybe cyan or light sea green. Uh, anything you like. Okay, um, before we're done in here, we're going to go ahead and go up to the window section and right here you can adjust a few things like if you want to see the title of the box you can click here go to visible now you can see the title I don't need that um, you can make the border visible or not uh, right here is some other information that you can adjust for scroll bars text wraps uh, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is the uh, alpha active and inactive basically the box as it sits right now is inactive so the alpha would be the amount of uh, contrast that the box would have. I prefer it to be transparent so I have inactive set to zero however when we hold the alt key and left click on the box it selects the box and that becomes an active box so I have that alpha set to 40 so it has a little bit of transparency to it let me show you I'm gonna click save now I'm gonna click left click and hold alt in the box now the box is in uh, active mode and this is the transparency uh, factor I was telling you about. So uh, 0 would be fully transparent and 100 would be completely opaque and uh, solid color. And then just to, get at, to make the box inactive again you click anywhere. So that's how you set up your engine controls. Uh, the process is the same for any kind of text box by the way. If you want to add a new info box anywhere on your screen simply right click anywhere on the screen with your mouse and you click new info window now it's going to make you a generic info window that you can adjust right now you see the, the info is the, the box is active so all we have to do is right click in it and go customize info window and then you can go over to the right hand side and there's a myriad of different options and items that you can bring over I don't use hardly any of these but if you would like to experiment with them all you have to do is left click and use these arrows to move them over and then the first item here will, will this will always be the window so you can adjust the specifics of how big the window is the alpha the text the color things like that and then well not the color that'll be in the other option but when you go to items and go back whatever you brought over it will be the specifics of it the font and the color of that item whatever that might be So I don't really need that info window. So what I'm going to do is I'll click, uh, hold the Alt key, left click. The box becomes active. Then I just right click and close the box. 
So that's a, a crash course on info windows and more specifically uh, changing your engine controls from digital to analog. I hope you found the video useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me on YouTube or on the ATAG forums. I'll be happy to assist you further. Thanks for watching.